Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're passionate about helping people with business and accounting. In today's video, I want to show you guys how to create a quarter over quarter or quarter over prior year quarter income reduction report for PPP purposes. So if you're interested, keep on watching. So I'm going to try to keep this video super short, super sweet for you guys to go through and be able to produce this report to see if you qualify for the revamped or PPP2 program. Now, in order to qualify for this program, you have to show that you've had a reduction in revenue. So in order to do that, we need to take prior year's information and compare it to 2020. So essentially we're taking 2019 a quarter and comparing it to the same quarter in 2020. Now you need your 2019 information in QuickBooks in order to be able to produce this information. So let's head over to the computer so I can show you how to customize this report. So I just logged into the sample company and one thing that I don't like about this account that QuickBooks provides the accountants is that no information gets saved in here. So I have to create everything from scratch. So obviously because it's a sample company and it only shows a few transactions, it doesn't have any 19 information. So I am going to just create a few invoices and a few sales receipts, and I'm going to forward this. You guys don't need to see that. And then once we're ready, we will jump back on here and go through the tutorial. All right, so now we're back and I have created some sales receipts so we actually have information to view in our QuickBooks. So the first thing you wanna do is go to reports and we're gonna select this profit and loss year to date comparison file. And we are going to customize this. This month to date, we're gonna to change to this year. We're gonna change this to quarters and we want to show previous year with percent of change all right and we want cash and then we're going to customize well let's see is that yeah. okay and then we want to filter by distribution and we want all income accounts. That all looks good. All customers, vendors, employees run report. All right. So here is our analysis. So we're going to call this PPP analysis dash income reduction all right so now that's been saved so we have ppp analysis income reduction we're showing march so we're showing january through march 2020 compared to january through march of 2019 we're showing april through june of 2020 compared to april to june of 2019 same thing for July, October, and then we have the entire year over here. So when you're doing this analysis, what you're looking for is, did 2020 produce less income than 2019? So in quarter one, we did not. We actually made more. In quarter two, we have a huge deficit. So this would be a quarter that you can select for PPP. Same thing for quarter three, we had a huge reduction in income and then quarter four. So I would use either second or third quarter since they're the highest that would show the reduction in revenue. Now I would not provide this report 
to the lender, what I would do is select my quarter using this analysis. So I'm gonna save this. So save customization and save that. So when you save it, it actually moves your report. It saves your report to custom reports. So you can click on that and it will regenerate your report. You don't have to recreate it. If I was providing this to a lender, I would select my time period. So we're gonna say July through September. So we're gonna do a custom seven one through, through September 30th. Then we're going to run this report. Now this report is a concise, clean version and it can it quickly shows what the reduction in revenue was. So you can save this report. PVP analysis Q3 income reduction. Save that. And now when you go to reports, you have both reports. So you have your analysis that you did and then you have your third quarter report that you would provide as support that you did have a reduction in revenue. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, share it with a friend, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.